Has it ever happened to you that when your friends ask you for an advice or from some or for some plan, you're able to come up with a fantastic idea, a fantastic plan? But when it comes to your own self, you are clueless, you cannot come up with something. You, you are criticizing yourself for not doing what's right. You kind of tend to be your own enemy. Has this happened to you? Uh, we've been brought up in a society where we are constantly being monitored and there's a lot of competition. We've been told what to do, what not to do, how to talk, how not to talk, what not to talk. Even our marks, we've been told how much marks we should be getting, which college we should be going, what course we should be doing, what job we should be taking. Everything is depending upon what the society keeps telling us, doesn't it? We're constantly on a sword of performance. We have to balance that. And there's always constant nagging voice, which keeps nagging all the time which tells you what you should not be doing, that you're not good at this, criticizing all the time, that you cannot do this, this is going to be wrong, continuously criticizing, right? We have to learn to overcome this self-criticism. We have to learn to be our own best friends first. We have to learn to be our own advisor, our own mentor. We have to learn to love ourselves. We have to take care of ourselves mentally as well as physically to achieve any goal in life. There's, there's a simple and small exercise that you can do this. I'm sure you've heard about this before. It's called as positive self-talk, daily affirmations. We can try one right now. Try this. Close your eyes, take deep breaths and repeat after me. I am confident and clear in my head. I work steadily towards my examination. I see myself in the medical profession. I see myself in service to mankind. This is my goal and I am living it. I am calm, cool and collective in my approaches to achieve more and become more. All goodness, success and happiness comes to me with ease. You know, daily affirmations will elevate your goals. It will help you achieve your goals faster. Do this twice a day, once before going to bed and once when you wake up. Try this. And every time you hear that nagging voice, mute it. Put it in an auto-mute state. So taking all this positivity along with us, let's go check what's there in the third week. So we have seven chapters allotted for this week. In bio, we have excretory product and their elimination, living world, biological classification. Excretory product and elimination, we can expect around two to three questions from this. Then living world and biological classification, both of this come from the diversity sector, uh, diversity section of uh, the NCRT and let's expect around four questions both together collectively. Chemistry, mein, we have chemical bonding and uh, aldehyde ketones. Carboxylic acid we will be doing in the next week, so only aldehyde and ketone. Chemical bonding, we can expect around four questions from this. Aldehyde ketone around one to two question from this section. Semiconductor and electronics. This is another important topic. Let's say four questions from this particular chapter. Standalone topic hai ye. Work energy and power. We can expect around two questions from this. So here's how week three will be. Uh, you see I've occupied day seven as well because the number of chapters have increased so we need to occupy day 7 as well uh, so first two days we are doing excretory product exc excretion chapter completely then the next two days we will be using for living world I guess ek din mein ho jayega. Uh, if you get done in within one day's time do excretion again then biological classification we are using two days for that as well so one hour of the day you are allotting for reading the basic plan remains the same one hour you're allotting it for reading in chem aldehyde ketones we are occupying three days by uh, chemical bonding we are occupying three days again so paladin aldehyde ketone mein, let's say humne kar diya preparations we did preparation nomenclature in the next day we will be doing chemical reactions maybe in day num uh, in day three, let's say we we'll do physical properties, uses. Then for chemical bonding, let's say we do hybridization. 
we do hybridization and here we do the valence bond theory here we doing molecular orbital theory so we dividing the sections of the chapter according to the days and as usual the entire description or the details of the chapter i will be putting it in the description as well the link in the description make sure you check that in detail physics also we have divided uh, the first three days you see we are doing work energy power small chapter hai pehle din mein kinetic energy we will focus on next uh, next day probably we will do conservation of energy potential energy and four days we will need for semiconductors it's a lengthy topic so four days we should be completing the concept in four days time so the basic plan one hour of the day for reading that remains same one hour for physics one hour for chemistry we are reading only the concepts that's allotted for that particular day if you're reading chemical preparations then you will uh, if you're reading preparations then you will read preparation and do the mcqs of that particular section only then 3 hours reading done mcqs ab ye hafte mein thoda zyada mcqs karenge because level uh, week 3 right so let's increase it we will do 50 mcqs from bio we will do 40 mcqs from chem and we will do 15 mcqs just five more not much 15 mcqs from physics so sirf panch bada hai only five more mcqs so this comes up to around 105 mcqs daily that's possible because these are lengthy topics so we need to do a little more mcqs here in the seventh day we will concentrate on semiconductors and uh, here you will also solve 15 mcqs from this particular topic on the topic that we do on the seventh day other than that uh, this takes around 5 hours as usual the one hour that is left out you are revising all the errors that you've made the mistakes the questions that you've made errors in you're going to revise that you're going to revise the formula you're going to revise the charts the diagram that's needed that's that's on daily basis on the day on the seventh day you are revising entire week plan again when you were reading i want you to underline something so you're going to revisit those on day 7 along with that the chapters that were allotted for the second week i want you to read that again as well see it's important that we remember what we have done in the previous week so just finishing it for that particular week is not important we need to remember that so we're going to revisit everything that was done in the second week as well along with that uh take a test in the merit store channel in in the merit store website and we have the five mcq videos the link of that will also be put up five mcq videos it's on our uh, another channel of merit store which is the online lecture one wherein we post all the lectures so make sure you check those five mcqs as well so this is your week 3 seven chapters 105 mcqs for that particular week So that's it good luck